Yo guys, what is up? Welcome to another video. As you can see here in front of me, I have the Marvel Legends Maggot figure. Um, I do know this figure is old, but we're going to be doing a review for him on the channel. I just picked this guy up at my uh, local Ollie's. Uh, go check out that video, guys. I did the toy hunt. I didn't think I was going to pick it up, but, I mean, for 10 bucks, you can't really go wrong. And uh, it looks pretty good, but yeah. Uh, again, I am in my new setup. So, I hope you guys enjoy this setup. Um, make sure to go like, s comment, and subscribe, guys. Let me know what other figures you guys want to see me review. Again, uh, on the channel here, I still have, like, a bunch of other figures to review. Like, this isn't even all of them. There's still, like, another one. But, yeah, guys, I have a bunch of figures to review. Honestly, I'll probably review Miss Marvel next because I want to get her on my shelf. But, yeah. So, stay tuned for that one, guys. But today, we are doing Maggot, because I want to get this guy on my shelf as soon as possible. So, just looking at him, I did get him in a pose. This is going to be probably the thumbnail pose. Um, I do have him here with his Eenie and Meenie. Um, if you guys don't know who Maggot is, uh, that's great, because I don't either. Um, I mean, I do know a little bit. So, what I know is that he was a kid, and when he was a kid... He always had these horrible stomach aches, and what happened was he, uh, the doctors diagnosed him, and apparently he had cancer, so, uh, and his family didn't have the money to provide to pay for that, so what he did was he left his family, because he didn't want to burden them with that, um, with the cancer and all that money and everything so he left his family and then he met magneto and apparently why he was having all these stomach aches is because these two little buggers um eenie and meenie are actually his digestive system and honestly guys it's just so ugh, so gross just holding them in my hand but uh we'll look at them uh, a little bit later in accessories but he does come with that um but and you can just wrap them around there we'll go a little bit more over that but anyways these are his digestive system so what happens is magneto took them out of his stomach and these go eat for him and basically um these are his digestive system so whatever they eat um they have to go back into his stomach and then provide him with the nutrients that they got and he be basically becomes stronger, and a side effect is that his skin turns blue. Um, I think he's an African-American boy, and uh, one of the side effects is his skin turning blue. Uh, because when he gets stronger, so uh, he also has um, another thing where whenever he goes into an area, another one of his powers is he can see... Um, he can like see past events in his area there's a word for that i don't really remember what it's called i think psychometry or whatever uh something like that i honestly don't know but um but yeah guys let's just um get in straight into the figure uh i did tell you guys a little bit more about maggot if you guys were wondering that is his name maggot um he's a good guy he's a x-men character so, yeah, he's a part of the Bone Breaker wave, and let's, honestly, let's just take a look at him. So, first up, we have his face right here. So, you, he, on, it, um, this is a whole new sculpt. He's got his blue. His eyes are painted very nicely. He, honestly, he looks like a psychopath. So, when I first got him, I thought he was a villain, but he's actually a good guy. But his smile is really creepy, so I really did think that he was a psychopath and a bad guy. He does have some nice, like, shadowing effects off, um, or on his, I think, forehead right there. And then above, or below his mouth, and maybe a little bit more throughout his face, like, above the eyes right there. And then he does have his nice eyebrows painted nicely, his orange eyes teeth are all painted nicely lips and then he's bald except for this little tuft of hair right there and then moving down to the torso area you can see he has these nice big shoulder pads and these are attached to are these attached to his yeah these are attached to his coat you can't really see it but this is attached to his coat 
Um, <clears throat> and if he did want to take off the coat, honestly, he probably could. But then his arms would be left with this part of the coat, so it doesn't really work out. But he does have some nice yellow paint right there, painted pretty nicely on this figure for the studs or whatever. And he does have this nice texture on the coat. I really love that. This nice texture, like a rough leathery texture. And then he has his white uh, tank top. And this is just painted on, no sculpting. Or actually... No, no sculpting. But you can see the muscles on there. And then he's got this belt. This is a separate piece on the figure. And then moving into the arms, he has these nice, again, the texture still on his shoulders. You can hear me scratching it. That's really nice. And he does have a bit of, like, kind of like a... He's got, like, scratches and dings on his shoulder pad. So that's pretty nice. And then um, he has this yellow band right there. And then, again, his skin is blue. His arms are pinless, but his legs are not. So, his legs are probably reused, but these arms are new. And then he has his gloves. No interchangeable hands with this figure. Again, that sucks. But, blue fingers, and then he's got some nice paint for the gloves. And it's sculpted very nicely, and that is raised. Again, the belt is, a, I don't know why I said belt that way, but it's a separate piece. It's got some nice paint to the belt buckle. And then, if you look on the back, nothing really interesting. I mean, again, that's going to be covered by the coat, so it doesn't really matter. There is a back view of the figure. He's got this nice seam line going down for where the coat, and then at the bottom, it does cut, so you get a little bit more range. And luckily, the coat is um, it's open from this angle, so you, he doesn't really get restricted by it at all. And then moving down into legs, again, he has this nice, like, leathery texture, and he's got some nice wrinkles in there. And then he has these knee pads with, like, these bum studs on him. Moving down, his, like, uh, his pants are tucked into his boot. Has a nice, like, kind of electrical looking boot, but then it's got, like, buckles on it. You got that dot, and it kind of looks like an armored boot. I don't know what I was saying, electrical, but I don't know. I think it looks really cool. And then peg holes at the bottom of the feet. And yeah, they look really cool. Here is a overarching look to him, um, but again... The texturing on this figure is really nice, and also on the boots, he does have, like, some, like, dings and scratches. I'm trying to get that to focus. Again, you can see it right there. He's got some, like, scratches on his boot, so that looks really nice. Again, the buckles. And then he's got this boot part right there. And then, again, nice texture all around. <sighs> looks really good. Uh, unfortunately, not pinless, but it doesn't really matter because they're going to be covered anyways by the coat. Unless you get them into, like, a crouching pose, which you can get them into. And talking about poses, let's get right into articulation. All right, starting at the top of the head, he can look up. He is on a disc hinge. He can look up that high, so actually pretty good. That's better than, um, the... It's better than the Spider-Man, which is sad. Like, that's, that's as high as you're going to get him unfortunately or if you use that side you'll get them higher but i mean i want it to look straight like this so yeah it doesn't really work unfortunately but um he does have some good head articulation and then but the thing is you don't get a lot of pivot but you, i mean you do get some but not a lot and then again obviously swivel starting at the shoulders uh you can raise them about um almost a t-pose and then they do oh okay they don't go all the way around just because the shoulder pad restricts them from doing that. But you can get them out and all that and stuff. So it does restrict them a little bit. And then he does have bicep swivel right there at the bicep. And then he has double jointed pinless arms. So that's nice to see if I can get this second joint to go bend. There we go. There we go. All right, double jointed um, elbows. That's pretty much where you're going to get him. He has a hinge and swivel at the wrist. And moving down to the torso, he has an ab crunch, but you're not going to get him far back really a lot just because of that coat. I mean, you can get him back a little bit. I'm pretty sure if you do like bend the coat out of the way, you could get him farther back. 
Um, actually, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's as far back as he's going to really get him with the coat. So he does go back a bit. Um, and then he forward, he can go that far, so that's really good. Um, as you can see right there, and then he does have a waist swivel. Moving down to the legs, they can kick this far far up, so 90 degrees. He has a um, thigh cut, double-jointed pinned knees. Unfortunately, not pinless, but doesn't really matter because it's going to be, uh, be hidden from the coat. I mean, um, not for me, though. I'll probably have him in a crouching pose because I did get him into some good poses. And then he does have boot swivel and ankle pivot and rocker or rock or so you can get them to that pose okay whatever all right so yeah that is the posability on this figure all right let's get in oh just dropped him <laughs> let's get him in to um let's actually look at his accessories for next so he is in the bone breaker way so he does come with some build a figure pieces <clears throat> Uh, build figure pieces for the bone breaker build figure. Um, I don't know what I did with them. I'm going to be honest. Uh, I have them somewhere. I don't know what I did with them, guys. But uh, if you go look at my Ollie video, you can find them. You'll see what they look like. He comes with a gun for bone breaker, and then also a um his the head of bone right here but uh his only real two accessories for him character specific accessories um are these and these are cool because i mean obviously this is like his power so that's good that they showed him with these but like where are the fists and hands has bro i mean like he gets stronger with these right so you're gonna want to have him punching stuff he should have came with extra fisted hands now, I'm glad that he came with these hands, but I guess it's because they wanted he, they wanted um, him to be able to hold Eni and Meanie. That's the name of these, like, centipede-looking creatures. And we'll look at these in depth, but he doesn't come with fisted hands, so that, that really does suck. Um, whoa, mine has a gap there in the bicep. What's the problem with that? Does this have that? Oh, there's a bit of a gap there it's not as bad as this arm though damn that sucks yeah that sucks but i mean yeah he doesn't come with fisted hands so that does suck but looking at the only two accessories that he does come with this is again i don't know which one is eeny and which one is meanie but they're eeny and meanie um we'll just call this one eeny they're the, the only paint on him. They have his um, uh, red eyes, and then he has an open mouth. That's just so gross, guys. The texture. They are, like, softer, rubbery plastic, but they're not, like, too pliable. But, yeah, and then it's got, like, the plates. I don't know what to call this. I think it's an armored creature in the comics. I'm not very too sure. And then you have, so you have one, like, open one, and then one, like, curled up one. Pretty much the same thing, but curled up. This one, you can see his teeth. This one is... Oh, no, you can see his teeth on this one, too. I don't know what I'm saying. But, yeah, so you can just put this one, like, on his shoulder. You can put Eenie on his shoulder. Did we call this one Eenie? I guess. Um, and then Meanie can go on... You can wrap around his wrist, and then you can have him holding him. Uh, so it is cool that you can have them him holding them, but... He, he could have used some fisted hands and maybe a couple of other accessories, but but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. He can hold any and meanie, but that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please go like, comment, and subscribe. Do all that YouTube rigmarole. Oh, I forgot to mention, he does have these nice buttons on there, and he has a little pocket right there. I forgot to mention that, but I mean, it's a part you need to but yeah, um, and some nice wrinkles. You can, however, see his tank top through there. That's a bit upsetting, but it's okay. You're not going to see it from the side most of the time. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you guys enjoyed these videos, please go subscribe. It really helps out the channel and it helps me to grow. And please go like, guys. It tells me that you guys like these type of videos, and I am going to keep making them. So, um, yeah. 
Uh, go like, comment, subscribe to all that YouTube rigmarole. Let me know what other figures you guys like to see me review. Again, um, I do have a lot, a lot of other figures to review. That's not even all of them. But, yeah. Um, make sure to go comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!